I got into this healing work in a kind of an odd way. First of all, I'm a skeptic. I've always been a skeptic. I frankly intend to always be a skeptic. But I have to follow my experiences. And my experiences have been interesting, I think a little bit unique, and have changed the course of my life. A very, very long time ago, I was lifeguarding at a pool, and I ran into someone who claimed he was a psychic, and I had never met a psychic before. And so I started giving him objects to read, and I was impressed. And I gave him more objects to read, and I was more impressed. And I started to design studies skeptically to try to make the effect go away. I thought that if I got under sufficiently controlled conditions, that I was somehow deluding myself and I wouldn't see any type of phenomenon. It turned out to be the opposite. No matter how tightly I controlled the studies, he kept coming through with his readings. His readings changed, and his, they changed to do physical readings. And he would start to get readings of people's physical symptoms, what was happening to their bodies. He was feeling it on, their own, on his own body. And this was really intriguing to me. And so what I did, I started to give him reading after reading in a double-blind study of people that he didn't know and who I didn't know. And they would be blind to me so I could give away no cues, and they would have certain types of physical conditions. And I would ask him, diagnose them. Not only was he able to diagnose them, but the people were claiming that as he diagnosed them, the symptoms were leaving them. And this made no sense to me at all. It actually made no sense to him. I was a skeptic. He wasn't particularly a strong believer, and he was wondering what was happening to him, and his world was changing quite spontaneously. The interesting thing is he had no teacher. He wasn't coming from a school of thought, a school of belief, a particular orientation, and he wasn't trying to prove anything. He was asking me to try to figure out what was happening to him. And to make a long story short, he did a physical reading after physical reading after physical reading, and I, as a former lifeguard and a former competitive swimmer, used to have a bad back. In fact, I gave up a swimming scholarship because of a bad back. And I was in pain. And I thought to myself, well, if he can do physical readings and apparently these things, these physical symptoms are leaving other people, what would happen if he did a reading on me? Turns out not only did he pick up my pain, but I then asked him quite spontaneously one day to put his hands on my back and fix my back. And he said, how? And I said, I don't know, just do it. And so he did. And I leaned over on a kitchen table and he put his hands on my back and I felt a very odd sensation of heat combined with a numbness, almost like a being Novocaine. This numbness lasted, it was about six or so inches in diameter and it wore off from the outside in as if I had been Novocaine and the Novocaine was wearing off. And that was the last time I ever had a back pain. And this was 30-something years ago. And so here you had a non-believer being healed by a non-believer. This was very, very, very interesting to me. And I watched him put his hands on hundreds of other people, and there were astonishing results. And after watching a few hundred quite amazing results, I decided that we weren't going to learn a whole lot by doing people. The people may have been grateful, not all of them were, but the people may have been grateful for gotten the, getting the benefit of, of a healing, but we, were, we couldn't isolate what was the cause of the healing. Obviously, they had a condition before. Obviously, he put his hands on. Obviously, the condition was better after. But was it always due to the, putting on, the laying on of the hands? And so I moved to a lab, and I wanted to start, under very controlled conditions, under very tightly controlled conditions, studies on healing. And so my beginning was clinical. I then moved into a lab. I then moved to a mouse model, a mouse model with cancer, a mouse model with cancer that had a very known lifespan of death, 100% death, 14 to 27 days after injection. And we began healing experiments on these mice. That's how I began.